Today I am going to color my hair at home. And before anyone says anything about coloring your hair while pregnant, I'm now into my six month of pregnancy. Based on the research that I have done, it indicates that the chemicals found in hair dye is fairly non-toxic and for the amount that actually soaks into the skin, there's very little that would actually reach the baby. In your second trimester is the safest to color your hair. I'm in my second trimester, I'm 23 weeks and so I am going to color my hair. My mom was a hairstylist for 26 years, so from the time that I was super young, she used to perm my hair, she used to cut and color my hair. The problem though with having a mom as a hairstylist is because that was her career. I'm sorry for that commotion, it's Ted is what it is. Because my mom was a hairstylist, she worked from home. I was kind of the last person that she wanted to do hair on because she did it all day and then to do it for me was obviously kind of like a chore. When I went to Miss Universe Canada the year that I won, I colored my own hair with box color from the drugstore. <laughs> Maybe my mom colored it. I think she did for Miss Universe, but since then I've colored it a couple times with box color at home because I usually have it a fairly dark brown. Sometimes I've had it way too dark. I got this L'Oreal Paris. This is the kind that I've used before. 100% gray coverage. I don't have any grays yet. The baby might give me some grays. But in certain light and in some of my photos, it, you can really see my roots and I really don't like that. Some people, when my hair was darker, when it was a much darker brown, some people would comment and respond to my stories and this was when I was Miss Universe Canada and they would say things like, is your hair turning white from all the stress? I could just go to a hair salon and get my hair colored, which is what I did a few months ago. Actually, it would have been almost six months ago because I would have just been pregnant. And I have no problem with doing that. It's just really expensive, like $150 usually for like a, a trim and a color. When I know I've done it on myself before and this seriously cost me like tw 10 or $12 and I get the result that I want, I just can't really justify it. My mom was a hairstylist, so obviously I'm all about people going to the salon, especially if you're getting particular cuts, you're getting particular colors, when you're getting highlights, the balayage or balayage or however you say it all about that but when I just want like an overall one color then $12 is gonna do it for me we're gonna see how this goes it might be a disaster and I might have to end up going to a salon so what I think I'm gonna do is put this color on leave it for the set amount of time and then shower it off so instead of sticking my head in the sink I'm just gonna jump in the shower and rinse it off that's what I've done before so that's what I'm gonna do I remember when I was younger and my mom didn't have the you know when you go to the salon and you have that hair bowl with the sink, the sink. Duh. You have this sink that you put your head into. There was a couple times when we were moving and the sink wasn't installed yet or later on when she didn't have her at home salon anymore and I would have to lean over the kitchen sink and I just hated that from even when I was an older teenager. Sorry mom, for all the trouble that I gave. If you're gonna do this at home, putting towels down because if any color drips on the floor or gets on a wall, you have to wipe it off right away. And even when you wipe it off, when the color develops, if it's a dark color like this brown, it's gonna stain and it's like impossible to get out. So that's something to be careful about. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. This is just, I thought this would be a fun thing to share that hopefully goes well and hopefully doesn't end up like a fail. Combine these and you apply the color to dry unwashed hair so this is unwashed hair for a couple of days you leave it on for 25 minutes and then you rinse it out and you recondition weekly that's it it's so easy let's do this why is it doing that it's so annoying whatever i bought this from shoppers too my mom would use a pick to comb out my hair once the color was in so that's what I try to do I'm just gonna part it into sections and apply it to my roots and hope for the best oh my god I was supposed to put on the gloves I probably should have put on the gloves fuck okay I really feel like I need a coffee I took the little thing off now you remove the cap. You remove the cap of this. Add it in there. 
I feel like this is like a, an at-home science project for kids or something. This will be one of the things I'll do with my kids. And now you put your finger on the hole and you shake it up. It should be good. Oh, that was terrible. I gotta work with these shit gloves. What, like the um, tight, like what are the tighter gloves called that are actually fitted to your hands? Not like, like really what the, is this? What is this? Come on L'Oreal, you need, oh fuck. Okay, this is maybe a bad idea. I'm literally watching this in my phone. Maybe they set people up to fail on purpose. It's hairstylists who don't want people to just buy color, at home color. So they make this more difficult than it has to be. Oh God. This is my makeshift brush. Yeah. I mean, this is my makeshift brush. Hoping for the best here. Hoping for the best. Optimism. Optimism is key. Optimism gets you through life. It's more fun this way. It's an adventure. Adventures are fun. I kinda hope my mom doesn't watch this. Oh my god. Here's the current status. I've got color, oh my god. Like, maybe this is a job that should be left to the professionals. Is there a girl in Willy Wonka that looks like this? So glam, so glamorous. I just got out of the shower. Rinsing off the color and this time I bought a medium brown instead of a medium ash brown or a dark brown and if you can kind of see, I mean it doesn't look that bad but my roots are like gingery. This is why we leave it to professionals. get my mom to do it but she lives thousands of kilometers away literally like 4,000 kilometers away in Saskatchewan and I'm in Halifax <laughs> mom help me mom I need you <laughs> yesterday's hair crisis was fairly easily averted I think my pregnancy brain got the best of me and I bought the wrong color so that is why I ended up with those gingery, red-ish roots. I bought a medium brown when my hair is pretty clearly a dark brown. I thought I recognized the box, but this is one that I've bought before. It's number three, Brasilia Dark Browns. I followed the exact same steps that you saw me do the first time. I did them today and then this is the result. So this was what I was going for the first time. The roots look good. I think it's a really beautiful, rich color. I think so. What do you guys think? I still have color on my head. <laughs> if you have hair like mine, I don't know anything about the lighter colors or about blondes, but if you have dark brown hair, and you're looking for a root toucher, this is the only one I can speak for, is such a good option. And again, this is not sponsored. This was just me too cheap to pay what it would cost to go to the salon because I have a lot of student loans and I am trying to pay them off as fast as possible. Law school was not a cheap venture. And so any way that I can kind of cut some of my costs, I will take those routes. And if you're going for something like highlights, balayage, or however you say that, a salon and a professional stylist is probably the better option for you. But I think that's it. That wraps up this video. I'm loving, I'm doing a giveaway of this jewelry on my Instagram. I love these pieces. They're made by a woman from Saskatchewan, my home province. And so head over to my Instagram to check that out. I can link these pieces below in the description box. She has a whole new collection that's out. The label itself is called Elizabeth Lynn. And I love them all. So anyway, 
that's it for this video i hope you guys sort of enjoyed it my pregnancy brain obviously got the best of me if you want to see more from me then subscribe right where ted is sleeping <laughs> see you guys next time